In this episode of Wild Dog Arcade, I install this into our alien pinball machine. Thank you very much for watching this video. I am Gary and I'm going to be installing the Alien Deflector and Lighting Mod Kit from the Pinball Mod Factory over in Europe. Uh, this is going to improve the reliability of one of the shots in the game, plus give you some better visibility. In Alien Pinball there are 10 movie based modes. To get those modes unlocked you have to qualify the airlock, which is the scoop in the middle of the table. And to do that, you actually have to get a ball through both in lanes, both the left and right in lanes, the Wayland and Utani lanes. Typically, you do that by hitting the ramps. That'll feed the ball back down to the in lane, qualifying that, lighting the uh, scoop so you can hit it and start your mode. On the left or on the right side, there's the Utani lane. It's actually a C. It's a reverso ramp, so it comes in, reverses it around, feeds it down on a habit trail down to the actual in lane. On Alien, it sometimes when you hit a really nice clean shot, it hits that and actually goes over that. It, it shoots over top of it. There's only so much adjustment you can do on the actual uh, ramp itself by the way they've constructed it. It's pretty well held together. You can't just uh, kind of stir and bend up or down that scoop to get it to stay. So what the Pinball Mod Factory has done is put this kit together, which does two things. One, it cures that air ball scenario on the Utani ramp. Two, it's actually a visible mod. It actually has lighting that says Wayland and Utani on it for the ramp. So it makes it a little more visible to the player when the game is telling you hit the Wayland, uh, Wayland in lane to do that. It's lit so you can see which one it is. Sometimes it's a little confusing because they're, they're down over on the sling area, which not is where you, typically not where you're looking. So this kit does those two things, so we're going to be installing that today. How this deflector actually works is they actually have a part here that does double duty. One, it has standoffs and it bolts on top of this ramp, extending the ramp out, making sure the ball feeds down. Two, it also has a panel that lights up that actually tells you what is lit. You know, basically this is the Utani lane, this one says Utani, the other one is a Wayland and that will tell you the Wayland shot. So basically the most, the functional part is this deflector on there. So. That is what I'm going to be installing and then also doing all the wiring for all the lighting on this kit. Okay, first thing I'm going to be installing here is the Utani deflector and light assembly and it's going to go on top of this ramp over here. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to take off these nuts and bolts so then I can install a standoff and install the actual uh, assembly. So this game is metric so keep in mind you're going to need some metric tools. There's a lot of Torx drivers. This one's a T20, and then I've got a seven millimeter uh, wrench here for the nut underneath, so I'm gonna remove those right now. Okay, next up is gonna be installing these posts. So they've got a, a basically a, a, sta a standoff post here. So you basically, it's got a screw and nut on the top, so I'm going to take off the little Phillips screw on the top and put that to the side. And then I'm going to grab the nut off the bottom. So it comes with a washer, so put it on, put it through, get it fed through that hole, which can be kind of a pain. All right. All right, so now I'm getting this installed, so... Hopefully I can get that in there here soon. This is a tiny little nut, so be careful that you don't drop it and put it down inside the uh, game. So that would be one standoff here. And I'll get the other one going on here as well. All right, gonna put the second one on here. So then you, again, the nut, take off the nut. Be careful, don't lose it, it's really small. Put the standoff in there and then feed the nut onto the bottom which is kind of awkward just be forewarned okay so i didn't want to put these tight i want to make sure this other part fits on top of it to see if anything needs to be adjusted here so i'm going to go around to the other side and grab the top and look at it and how it lines up so 
as I've noted here sometimes you know things aren't always square so this one needs to be bent a little bit up it's the spread is just too far so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tweak this tab up this one might need to come up a little bit and I'm going to do that by uh, basically carefully putting a crescent wrench on there and adjusting okay now that I've made the adjustments uh, to the the little tabs here to get the stuff squared I can now put the top on with a screw and a washer and this will be I've still got everything kind of loose on here because I don't want to uh, over constrain it while I'm working on it all right now that I've got it in there I'll grab my screwdriver actually kind of run the screws in a little tighter to kind of get everything kind of roughed out and then I'm gonna take my uh, I've got a little wrench here okay now I've got everything kind of loosely, roughly assembled. I'm going to put in a couple of adjustable wrenches because I don't have tiny little wrenches down here that are this size. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to snug up the lower post to the base, to the ramp itself. And snug it up on both sides. This one's a little more difficult to get to because it's in a weird spot. So we'll get it. Right, those are snug don't want them too tight don't want to break off the little posts they're tiny little uh, tiny little threads so now I'm going to grab my Phillips screwdriver and I'm going to tighten down the top of them so, so I've got Phillips screwdriver here this will tighten down the ramp itself or the deflector right to the post and it'll stand off just like that and again snug but not too tight uh, because you don't want to break off things. Now you, be, you may be wondering what's going to happen with this wire. So for right now, it's going to just go down in there. But we actually have to lift the play field and pull this target out so we can run the wire through it. Um, that way it will stick out the bottom. Okay, the Wayland uh, top, was, this is just a light only. It's actually pretty easy to install. You feed a wire down through a hole in the play field. You line it up after you've removed the adhesive uh, cover. There's a basically some little dots, a, a double-sided adhesive on there. And then you just line it up and stick it on. And that one's pretty easy. Now we're going to have to go under the playfield and do all the other wiring bits on the underside of the playfield. But that one's actually a pretty, pretty slick, pretty easy to install. So I'm going to push it down and then I'm going to go up underneath the playfield. All right, moving back on to the Utani target. I have to go underneath here and remove one of my stand-up targets in order to feed the wire down through that. So it's just a couple of uh, couple of little screws that tap into the wood, just like any other pinball machine if you've worked on any. So it's actually not terribly difficult. I'm gonna leave the wires connected and move it off to the side a little bit. So this is the tricky part, is these things don't like to come through here. They're very tight fit. So now what I'm going to do is move around to the other side and feed the wire down through. So and then I'm going to feed the target back through the hole, which is again a tight fit so I can have it there and then I'm going to reattach the screws. And this I'm going to do with just the extension um, on this. So what I've noticed is due to the width of the wire and the original placement of the targets, I'm going to probably have to actually tap some new screws or tap some new holes off to the side in order to leave room for that target. So that will um, not do a whole lot for me, uh, it won't affect the play of the play field. So I'm going to do that here and then we'll be back with this attached and we'll start to do the wiring. Alrighty, so I actually test fit the wires and made sure that the things are working. So one thing I noticed is the little control panel has this little arrow and it lines up with the little dot that they've put on the connector. So that is the correct way to install this connector. So 
Um, yeah, that uh, basically plugs it in, it, and then it joins up with uh, an extension cable, uh, which then runs to the uh, five volt source that I installed in the game. So this uh, allows you to hook up both of them. Now there's going to be a little cover that I put on the back to hold the thing together so it doesn't fall apart or come apart. And I will be installing that. Alrighty, so they gave us these little 3D printed uh, covers for this to hold this stuff together. They're actually labeled Wayland and Utani as well. So I'm going to put the Wayland on this side, the Utani on the other side. So all that this looks like it does is it goes over top of these items and holds them together. And as soon as I get the right location, basically it just snaps in there holding everything together that way they that way they don't come apart the little thing that they give you when you're uh, installing this is they give you a bunch of zip ties so you can actually tie up the cabling and make it so it manages it's managed a little bit better uh, that way you can ensure that you can service the machine uh, if you make sure you pay attention to your routing so if you pull your play field forward it doesn't try to disconnect anything so but basically yeah it's a bunch of zip ties and some cables to route. So I'm gonna do that, and then we're gonna go back to the top side. Okay, so we have finished the install of our uh, Alien Deflector Kit and the Wayland yutani light lanes. So there you can see what they look like. They also came with these a uh, couple extra like little face huggers here that I've actually mounted on the back side of that. Uh, kind of made, figured out where they needed to fit and things like that. Uh, but yeah, no, that they, they looks really good. You can select what color. I chose kind of a pale uh, yellow green because I thought it kind of goes with the alien theme of the upper play field here. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what it looks like. All right, that completes the install of our alien deflector mod and the lighted Wayland Yutani uh, lanes here. So that should help us a see what's going on better when the game tells you Wayland or Yutani. It's more identifiable to the player. Also, should cure the airball problems we've been having out of this habit trail. So that way we can qualify the scoop when we should because it should be going through the in lane. But if it if it misses, it completely doesn't register that shot because the registration is in the in lane itself. All right, everybody, that completes the installation part of this video. We want to thank you for coming by and watching this. We are streaming pinball at twitch.tv slash wilddogarcade. We're also on Instagram, Blue Sky, and Twitter as Wild Dog Arcade. Our normal streaming nights over on Twitch are Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time and Sunday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. So definitely give us a follow over there. Come watch us. Uh, keep an eye on our YouTube channel here uh, for more videos and other things we, co we come up with. Definitely really appreciate everybody out there. Have a great evening, day, or night. <laughs>